In this video, I'm making Pom's Anna, also known as Anna potatoes, or simply as a potato galette, however you want to refer to it. It's thinly sliced potatoes. Choose one that's good for baking or roasting, something like that. I'm using some red skinned King Edwards. Um, traditionally, it would just be the potatoes, maybe some butter, some oil, salt and pepper and herbs. I'm gonna also add a little bit of Parmesan in this one. I'm gonna break with the classic here, but just a little bit in between the layers. It's gonna make it a little bit more savory and delicious. And uh, I know you're gonna really like this one. All right, there you are on the screen is the recipe and that will also be in the description below so you can go down there and copy paste. But it's it's not really a recipe you need to worry about too much. It's a, it's a method, it's a technique video. But we do need some nice potatoes, the sort of ones that you would roast or mash and you need to cut them reasonably thin. That's quite thin, but maybe you want to go thinner with a knife or you, if you've got one of them uh, box graters, they've usually got a bit on the side that you can do that, but it's a bit tricky. I do recommend you get one of these. The mandolin is the way forwards and you buy one once and you've got that for the life and uh, you won't regret it uh, unless you cut your finger on it. <laughs> so don't what I'm doing here when I'm getting close to the end uh, you want to use the guard but I'm an idiot so it's all right <laughs> I didn't want the last bit anyway it was a bit thin so anyway I've done my slices into cold water and what pan that pan no I want that pan because I want a sort of a, a wider thinner crispier pom Anna you can do a deep one and take a bit longer to cook in the oven also very very nice um, melting some butter unsalted butter and uh, infusing some thyme into it and you see it's going a little bit toasty there a little bit brown let's let's get that off the heat now and strain out that time that would have been put a lot of flavor into that fat and that's well that's that done it's really quite simple this uh, the pan is already buttery but let's make it more buttery by brushing it like so uh, a few little sprigs of thyme just looks really nice at the end bit of seasoning on the bottom of the tray and now we're going to build so we start in the middle the bottom layer is going to be the top it's going to be inverted so you sort of try to select your nicer looking slices for that start in the middle work your way around and around and around and around until you get to the outside and then season we're going to season each layer and and if i wasn't using parmesan that would be i would be sprinkling salt in there the pepper there's going to be some pick time and i'm going to dab some of that melted butter and we're going to just keep going we're going to keep building and building and building you've got to sort of use your eyes you've got to look over have i got enough potatoes for another layer or you know it generally just it works out it it always does it just works itself out in the end so i ended up doing four layers here as you can see me building up and it it does look nice and it's one of those jobs when you do it it's it's actually easy it's super satisfying and the end result is gorgeous and it, and it it looks stunning so everything about this is great I, I don't know why i don't do this more often really um the top layer i'm sort of using up all the odd little bits of potato because the ones i started off with weren't exactly very even you hopefully you'll do better than me when you select your potatoes and the gas get it on and then turn it down to about the medium don't rush this medium yeah not don't have to go lower than that and a couple of little knobs of butter in there because I love that stuff. And we're going to just press it down there. So if you've got a bit of parchment, if you've got if you've got a pan that will fit inside, perhaps you've got like a cake tin or a plate, something like that. And that was about five minutes. I'm just going to just sort of get the palette knife around. Can I loosen it from the side? It's sort of beginning to the potato will press and the starch will make it hold together. You see, um, we're getting there. Yeah, so it's going to be time to pop this in the oven and I've preheated my oven the uh, temperature on the screen there back on with the parchment and the lid and in the oven 15 20 minutes or so it depending on how many layers you've got how thick it is there's a bit of potato stuck to the parchment paper there get I don't want to lose that put that back on there but we can see because it's been covered it's sort of sweated a bit it, it's it's a bit soft so it's going back in the oven uncovered about another five minutes or so and yes oh you can really feel the difference there it's definitely going to come 
separate from the pan, a plate over the top. It's, you have to be confident here, it's very deliberate, don't be tentative. Show it who's boss and flip that thing over. And well, it looks delightful, doesn't it? Ease it back into the pan because now we're gonna just pan fry the other side. Again, turn that heat down, get that down to a medium or, or less. And just give that the remaining few minutes and yes, a bit more butter because I love it. And it, I mean, it looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> so it's crispy on the bottom as well now. And there it is. I mean, it just looks stunning. Very happy. Anyway, you know what happens now. I'm going to hand you over to me for the tasting. So, Pom's Anna, potato galette, whatever you want to call it. It does look nice, doesn't it? It's a bit of a showstopper. How does it taste? And oh, So we've got that lovely sort of crunchy bit on the outside, and it's a bit softer in the middle. So, oh. Mmm. So, potatoes cooked with butter and thyme. I mean, and a bit of parmesan. What do you think? They're so lovely. And to be honest with you, that is a showstopper. I would be more than happy to serve that as the main item, and I say a lunch, with some salads to go with it or something like that. And just blow people away. But obviously, it's also a perfect accompaniment to any sort of roasted meat or something like that. Anyway, I, that's just... That's astounding, I love it. So thank you ever so much for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, because it obviously works. <laughs> and them upstairs, they notice, and hopefully they'll recommend my videos a bit more. Anyway, so if you wanna see me do a bit better, please get involved and comment, I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you again pretty soon, bye. Just a crunch a bit. Oh. Um.